Alright, what is going on guys? Today we are watching Mashoku Tensai Season 2 Episode 6. Apologize for not reacting to the last episode. I obviously, however, have watched it in my own time. Um, I was busy last weekend, so I didn't get a chance uh, to react to it. But yeah, last episode was pretty damn good. We uh, arrived at the magic school. We're introduced to a lot of new characters, a lot of old characters as well. Like we have old bowl cut with glasses dude who sees Rudius as his master. Um, we've got new, uh, like, animal girls, I guess, from the village to which uh, Rudius went to uh, way back when. Uh, we also got uh, another one called Cliff, which I believe is the character that Edis met or saved, I think, from episode 16.5, was it? Like, the special. That's cool. Obviously, he knows Edis. Um, and then, yeah, we introduced it once again to Ariel a fits quote unquote obviously a silphy and luke as well who apparently is an off branch of paul's family um is technically rudius's cousin it seems which is pretty damn cool he does actually kind of look like paul in with the genetics i suppose so that's interesting um but yeah so far this this school's pretty cool he's rudius has pretty much free reign to do what he wants and kind of learn all new kinds of skills and stuff so yeah, look forward to seeing how that goes. So, as always, guys, if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and like the video as well. And uh, let's go right into this reaction right now. Man's still got to get his daily exercise in. <laughs> anime weeps. I mean, I guess they're Japanese. Well, he's Japanese, so it doesn't really make him a weep. Looks oddly tasty. Yeah. Oh god. <laughs> Jesus, man. Oh yeah, we also found out in the last episode that she's got some kind of curse, and that's why she has to sleep with so many people. All teleportation is apparently taboo. Okay. Yeah, I guess Fitz uh, mentioned that to him because she, she's probably already read it. I'm not used to yet there being an actual opening for this series as well. Really nice though. <laughs> I warmed this seat for you. <laughs> is that person not Rudius or is it someone else? Oh, okay. Then why are you still researching this shit? I suppose they'd still want to know how how the mass teleportation happened. I'd like you to let me help you investigate the mass teleportation. You just want to spend more time together. It's cute. How he hasn't figured out it's Sylvie yet, that's wild. The ears, the way she speaks, the wand. And Bro's kind of falling for her as well. <laughs> With a man. <laughs> you never know, bro. I don't get why she didn't just, doesn't just tell him. Is it because she's sad that she didn't get to go look for him? You sleep in the girl's dorm. Good excuse. Makes sense. Servants and slaves. I wonder if anybody at the school owns slaves. <laughs> Awfully shy. Cute. Not with you, though. <laughs> You'd love to meet him, would you? Bro, just tell him at this point. Just teasing. I'm sure I don't swing that way. Maybe this is how he's going to fix his uh, ED. Falling for fits. <laughs> I'd say Rudius looks a lot like um, Paul in this outfit. Brother! Jesus Christ. <laughs> I used a figure. Wow. <laughs> of course. 
You really can't make shit? They've been at it all night? Brother. This man studies earth magic as well. Jesus. Is he going to make it manually? Ah, okay. <laughs> Rip. Oh, yeah. <laughs> True. That's not something you'd be able to do straight away, like. They got a slave to do it. Why does he say that so casually? Mm, bro's asking you on a date, bro. <laughs> Bow to. <laughs> Look at uh, Rudius' cloak. We're all ragged from battle. I don't think I've ever actually noticed that it was this ragged. Maybe that's going to be a plot point in this episode. Maybe I'll get a new one. Oh, yeah. Slaves look as they do normally in anime. Depressed? Holy shit. Damn. That's a baby. Spoken like a true virgin. My boy, you've had sex once. Relax. <laughs> Poor dude. Yeah, a dwarf would be great for this. Makes sense. It's like learning a new, a new language. <laughs> Your master's case. Not for anything weird, as most people would come in for slaves for. Oh, convenient. Really not kept in great conditions. Can't believe Rudius is going along with this so normally. Oh god. She's so skinny, so tiny. So she's gonna be a slave for this dude. You better treat her nice. What language is he speaking right now? Is he speaking like a demon? Damn, bro. You used to be someone like this. Damn, bro. Yeah, that's true. Going with him, though, it's got to be better than being in here. Is he actually going to do it? Oh, I was. I thought she was saying I want to die. Thank God. That's sweet. Good job, Rudius. <laughs> oh, feeding her all kinds of food. Nice. She doesn't have a name. Um. That's a long ass name. Oh, so she hasn't got a name yet. Well, I guess she got a name her. Julius? Oh god. Damn. Juliet. That's a nice name. Julie's fine too. She's adorable. She's a dwarf as well, so I guess she's not going to grow much bigger. Can't believe they, they got this girl just to build figures. Right, so that was Mishoka Tensai, Season 2, Episode 6. Uh, that was a good episode. This little Julie is really sweet. I, I'm, I'm kind of a sucker for when uh, like the main character saves slaves in anime. Happens a lot, obviously. The slave trade is unfortunately a big thing in the anime world, or in a lot of them in these East Sky worlds, of course. 
and uh, it's nice. They pick a cute little kid, and I'm going to show her a good life that she deserves. Very sweet. Um, yeah, and it's going to be nice to see Julie more. Obviously, she's Zenoba. Is that his name? Zenoba's slave, I suppose, but obviously partly owned by Rudius as well. Obviously, she's more connected to him. And yeah, I'm, like, I'm liking the relationship that Sylphie and Rudy are building up here again. Um, I hope, uh, honestly, I hope he or she lets him know soon. I don't really know why she hasn't told him that, but obviously, some kind of reason. But uh, yeah, overall, a very good episode, and I'm definitely looking forward to the next. Anyway, guys, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Have a nice rest of your day, and peace out.